fragments of your life and dreams are now unassembled and scattered parts and memories, memories and relics empty of you. But you are alive to the texture and touch of things, to shadows turning their strange hours, to the sky wheeling and ranging its clouds, to fans of rays of light making mercurial pools on horizons. Or night, where the moon of poets, scarring the deep blue ground of profound infinite nothingness, shimmers on water. And loneliness and melancholy still touch people like you and me, who follow when the time is ripe for her phase, her beauty and her seeming sorrow. You are a poet of hills and skylines, of hills and tracks, of dells and downs, of wood and wheel, heath and mountain, of places where dew rises and silver light sprays abstract trees across grassy fields and mute streams flow to silent rivers or swans. Things wild and natural are alive to you, and human evidences, new and ancient. The red heart of sunset, through a crackle glaze of winter blackthorn branches, stains orange the clear, cold, equinoctial air, and wind-sun-seared grasses soften the earthworks of ancient mounds. An arcane legend of foreground objects, flint, polished, quartz-veined pebble, shell, cone, wind-washed or wave-rounded, a key to mystery. Tumulus, copse and clump, a ring of stones, interchangeable monuments of nature and human. Temples and views of ancestors' realms, sentinels of burials, where bones, palpable remains, sojourn on journeys to a place far from knowing. Cunningly, the white mountain's slopes, scumbled in mist and picked out with scratched through trees, immaterial vapour merging all, horizonless, transparent, an exhalation of colour, a veil. You are alive to the wonder of things. A poet of coasts and ships and barren shingle flats where hollow houses stand washed up. There is no anchorage of belief or faith, but floating adrift on flows and currents, sounding unsounded depths of vision. Where is the meaning of these signs and symbols? The sky darkens and clouds paint out the sun. Your ship has sailed now, under the cathedral headland, through the granite breakers, where the watchtower marks the dark reef, and beyond, light spills on the surface of the sea.